Hello friends. Today I'll be covering race conditions in React.useEffect and some of the bugs you may experience because of it. So what is a race condition? A race condition can happen when you have two asynchronous processes that'll both be updating the same value. And in this scenario, it's the last process to complete that ends up updating the value. And this may not be what we want. We might want the last process to be started to update the value. An example of this is if your component fetches data and then re-renders and fetches a new set of data, you would want the new set of data to update the value. But first I'd like to thank some of the new subscribers to the channel. So thank you, Tirapot, SBE Grope, Luciano, Brian, Tanjit, MBAX333, Pavel, Joel, James, Sarge, John, Dimitar, Shin, Lorenzo, Vince, Sebastian, Sajid, Farouk, Vetal, Karen, Dejaro, Tanw, Famir, Shimo, Ignacio, and Ahmed. It's your support that keeps a small channel like this going, and I really do appreciate each and every one of you, so thanks a lot. So let's see what that might actually look like. Here I have a React component with two buttons. Uh, each of these buttons perform an API call. Uh, one fetches the data for Luke Skywalker, and two fetches the data for C3PO. And to simulate the worst case scenario, I've added an artificial delay of one second to C3PO, so every time it fetches the data, it's going to lag by one second. And so here I'll click Luke Skywalker. You can see that it returns the result, and I'll click C3PO, and it returns the result after one second. And to initiate the race condition, what I have to do is fire off the slow process, the C3PO, and then fire off the fast process immediately afterwards. So I'll go ahead and click the Luke Skywalker button just to uh, reset it. And what I'm gonna do again is click two and then click one real fast. So I'm gonna click two and then click one. And here's the bug we're looking at right now. You can see one equals C3PO. So one should be Luke Skywalker and two should be three CPO. So one equals three CPO is definitely a bug in my application. And let's jump into the code to see what's wrong here. So when we're looking at this use effect, you can see it looks pretty standard. Uh, first, it sets the person to null when it enters. It then performs uh, a call to get person from my API. It passes in the ID, then when that returns, all it does is it calls set person. It's difficult to tell just by looking at use effect what the problem is, but anytime you have an asynchronous call, inside of use effect, you can have a race condition bug. So what's happening here is get person starts running, the components re-rendered, and then a second get person call is running. Now we have two calls to get person running simultaneously. This is where the race condition bug comes in because we actually don't know which race is gonna complete last because that's gonna be the one to actually win the update and set the person. There's a couple of different ways to fix this. The first way is to abort the call. And if you're using something like fetch, it has an abort controller and it will let you abort the initial request. But for this example, let's just pretend our request is unabortable. What I can do is put in a value here just called canceled and I'm gonna set that to false. And what I'm going to do inside of get person is I'm going to say, if this event has been canceled, then I'm going to exit. So I'm not gonna call set person if the event's canceled. Now when the component unmounts, and this is the syntax here for the unmount event, all I have to do is set canceled to true. The trick on why this works is due to closures. So every call to use effect is going to create its own closure and they're each going to have their own canceled value inside. So when I call this with ID1 and ID2, they will each have their own closures with their own canceled inside. So the second time the component renders, it's actually going to call the unmount here of the first call, which will then set the first calls canceled to true. And that way, if get person completes out of order, we'll always have this line here that is gonna to check to see if it's canceled and then just ignore the updates. And now that you know how to do it manually, let's do it the easy way. So I'd recommend using a library for this. Uh, the current one that I'd recommend is called React Query. Not only does it solve the race condition bugs, but it also comes with a very powerful tool set. And let's see what this will look like with the use query library. So I'm just going to type in here is loading. There is an error object, but just for the brevity of this video, I'm going to ignore that and just use the data, but you should definitely use the error. So I'm going to import use query and I'm going to add the cache key in here, which I'm going to call person and ID. 
and that's going to uniquely cache the results of this query into its own internal cache. That'll just make things load a lot faster. So if I have to refetch this data, it actually won't make another network call. It'll just pull it straight from the cache. Now use query takes a second parameter, which is a callback function, and that takes the key as well as the IDs you're being passed in. So these, these two items here will be passed into here. And what's going to be called here is just get person with the ID. So I'm just going to comment out the use effect code because we're not going to be using any of that. And all I have to do is say const person equals, and I'm just going to see if it is loading. If it's loading, I'm just going to return null for now. And if it isn't loading, that means I have access to the data. So I'm just going to head and set the person to data. And that's because down here, I'm checking to see if it's a person and I'm going to format it like this. Otherwise, it just returns null. And if I open up my browser again, I'm just going to check to see if it's working. So if I click one, Luke Skywalker comes and three CPO is also working. And as an added bonus, you can see if I click back and forth here, these values are loading instantaneously. So the delay in C3PO um, isn't even triggering anymore because it's actually pulling these values from cache. So not to simulate our race condition, I'm going to have to reload the application, which is going to clear the cache. And then I'll just click two and one really quick. And you can see that over here, it actually did make both of the calls. And here, we're looking at the correct value, whereas before it was saying one equals C3PO, and now it's saying one equals Luke Skywalker. And React Query has completely eliminated our race condition as well as added caching into the application. So I'm going to go into the code again and then just delete all of this unnecessary code. And you can see how simple our application has become. It's actually a lot less code than before by just using the use query. So just to recap, a race condition bug can occur when two asynchronous processes are started and they complete out of order. And we can solve this by either aborting the first request, keeping an is canceled flag, or by using a library like React Query. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. I really do appreciate you spending your time with me. And like always, I'll see you in the next video.